Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Before I get started on today's video, I'm extremely excited to announce that we have launched our comprehensive modules on diet, health, and nutrition. These modules will include things like gut health, parasite cleanses, uh, hypothyroid, stress, pain. There will be many modules in this program and we will be adding to it on a monthly basis. It also includes a community board where you can ask questions safely and have real answers from other members as well as myself. It will also include weekly Q&A videos to really go in depth where we make videos specifically tailored for your needs. Also, it will have interviews with industry experts on topics that you are interested in. So please sign up below. Here we go. Fasting improves glutathione. Glutathione is a very important antioxidant system and is necessary in our body. It takes the blunt of the oxidative stress and it is very important for our overall health. So basically, fasting reduces oxidative stress by decreasing reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species occurs all the time, but when you eat, especially with processed foods or chemically laden foods or foods that you're allergic to, it creates more oxygen, reactive oxygen species. So fasting itself will reduce oxidative stress and basically decrease glutathione consumption. So it's preserving the glutathione reserves. Number two, fasting creates an activation of NRF2 pathways. This enhances the body's ability to increase glutathione and recycle glutathione. So it just doesn't help produce it, helps recycle glutathione. Number three, increases autophagy, the process of uh, removing dysfunctional cells and dys dysfunctional mitochondria. So recycle cell components and is less burden to the glutathione system. Number four, improves mitochondrial function. Health of the mitochondria requires less glutathione. What that means is the healthier your cells are, and the healthier your mitochondria are, there is less need for glutathione preserving its reserves. Number five, improves glutathione synthesis by upregulating an enzyme called glutamate cysteine ligase. Basically, it helps to improve glutathione production because this is a rate limiting step in the production of glutathione. Improves insulin sensitivity and conserves glutathione. As you know, if you have prediabetes and diabetes, it creates more oxidative stress to our system. So by improving insulin sensitivity by fasting, you are preserving your glutathione reserves. Number seven, detoxification. More efficient process of detoxification leads to more effective use of glutathione, also increases production, as well as recycling of the glutathione. So it's important to understand that glutathione is a very, very important antioxidant in our, in our system. Your body has the ability to recycle it, given the nutrients. You can also take glutathione, like liposomal glutathione or acetyl forms of glutathione. You can even nebulize it. You can use a liposomal cream. There's a variety of different ways to deliver glutathione. I'll link my other videos on glutathione in this video, so you can watch those. All right, my name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.